I miss of it was a peer, as you know. Mm. So we suffered from old granny and uh, yeah, it's been a minute since I did a sit down. 2023 has been a whirlwind and uh, now we are back. We are, you know, relearning things, getting back into the content creation uh, space. And we are grateful that we are able to because content creation is something that I genuinely enjoy to do and um, yeah I would be sad if content creation is separated from me like last year I really struggled you know doing most of it because I was swamped I was swamped with I had work from 8 to 5 so <laughs> The only time I would do anything was maybe uh, after five or six because five no na toka kazi. So by the time we kike nyumbani, you have a lot happening. So it really, you know, slowed down my content side. And uh, but I'm grateful I still had people who still, you know, clients who still came make, made orders. I was still able to do other things that. I'm passionate about and also yeah I'm grateful so we are back we are back now so today I'm just going to you know you know reel us back in reel us back in yeah and uh, I'm super excited because I have a lot planned for this channel Nigeria took 700 subscribers we are supposed to have hit a thousand already but we thank God for the 700 that we have and we are grateful. Najwa Tongezeka with time. Let me just come to these pictures because I'm making something and I don't want to you know, redo it after this video. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's 22. 24, 25. That is 50. Did I do 25? Okay, 25. That is 50. No? No, 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 no. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That is 28. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, I want to do panels of 40-40. I'm uh, working with this needle. This is probably 4.5 or actually 5.5 probably. Haina writing. We're gonna write in for a package. But Haina writing. So yeah. So I'm doing pearl stitches. So which will form a gutter stitch eventually. Yeah, and I'm going to mix this color with a uh, baby blue. Hope you can see the pink I'm working with. It is so super pretty. Cool. Actually, there are a lot of shades of pink. A lot of shades of pink. So I'm working with this. It goes very well with some baby blue that probably you'll see in the next video. Yeah, so let's do a catch up video. Let, let's do a catch up, you know, catch up uh, kind of video. So <clears throat> the past year, I've been delving into my career as we know from previous videos. I studied architecture in J Quart. Yep, hoo -hoo. we're usually super proud to mention that we come from J Quart because word out here says that J Quart students are like very good in the field, like outside school, they are very good, especially practical wise. Like, Wakienda site one of Anakazin Zurisana, so yeah. We always are proud to say we come from j -Cot. I am also super proud because that school really in, in, instilled a lot in me. <laughs> eh, well, yeah, so I delved into my career. I worked as an assistant architect in some uh, institution for a year and three months. Three months was probation. Then the year was now like work, work. I learned quite a lot. Like... I've worked with, uh, you know, experienced architects, especially one stood out to me because really, 
yani we, we bonded so much over architecture and it was crazy how different generations will just connect through one thing which was architecture because he is way old than William Sewa Kitambo like he's some old dude but when we sat down and started discussing concepts and you know design and everything regarding the work that we would do oh my god we would go on and on and on and on pakata tunasahau time <laughs> yeah so that was a very good experience that i've had and uh, yeah so um after the year i felt like uh, i needed to you know grow in the same you know area so uh in one way or another the, the the same place wasn't you know wasn't okay for me and wasn't willing to harbor the growth that i was looking forward to so i had to walk out mm. so my one year contract ended and i walked out and uh, yeah in good standing though yeah there was no you know any kind of you know friction it was like a very good conversation which made sense and yeah so i am now self employed like i'm doing my own work i'm not yet found a big project that i'm working on on my own but i've done a few little little ones yeah since leaving in february 6 I've done a few little little ones you know mainly computer work mainly design work and uh, I'm currently 100% doing my business so naniona pale ofra picnic experience niko very active naniona pale ofra needs niko very active I'm posting a lot and I'm also delving deep into teaching of knitting so guys if you are someone out there who wants to you know learn how to knit and crochet or maybe you have a kid who may be interested in knitting and crochet please you know hit me up i'll definitely leave details uh on the description will i even remember how to do a description <laughs> it's been so long because i've just been posting shorts and shorts don't even need a lot they just need the title and you know blah, 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 and you're good Yeah so <clears throat> I am going to put a description and uh, maybe I'll do a video specifically for my classes. I think I did one a live yeah but um, I will do another you know official one just for specifically YouTube. Yeah don't mind the noise if you hear the noise I'll try to get rid of it when I'm editing the video. But yeah so I am now 100% delving into my businesses and I figured the sooner I start uh, pursuing my dreams and pushing for the dream I want the sooner I will achieve them yeah so ah it was a very you know anyone would say risky risky decision I made but I was looking at it as uh, you know in the long run kind of thing like a long term kind of decision i've been watching a lot of ivy ivy you know ivy what is that name ivy africa poleni kuna ndege na hapa so i've been watching a lot of ivy africa's uh, videos and there's some short videos she's done on what she would have done different when she was employed because she she has been employed for 12 years you know me i hear 12 years and i'm like 12 years and i'm like yo my god there's another video i also posted na nika sent it ko na sema if you are an entrepreneur if you tell me you are an entrepreneur i already know what's your character i already know your personality in a way because entrepreneurs don't like taking orders or being bossed around you know when i watched that video i was just like yeah, that is so me like even in my previous work i would interact with my bosses not as my like my like like lords over me no i would interact with them as equals 
not in a disrespectful kind of way but in an interactive kind of way like i'd ask them questions i would question the decisions that they not question in a bad way but i'll be like okay why would you like decide on this instead of this then you know like yeah so i guess i am an entrepreneur that is already proven and uh, yeah so i've been watching ivy's videos and there are some things she's been saying that really cemented the decisions that i made for example she said um, if she was to go back to her early employee employment years she wouldn't have stayed long in one place she would have like done one year in a place and then requested for maybe an salary increment or a, a promotion and if declined she would have gone to a different place because when you go to a different place you have a stepping a higher stepping whatever you can ask for more like in terms of you know all those benefits that uh, you want as in your job this job like um, field in your field or career then when you come back to even the same place that you were at that you left you'd come back in a higher position you, you understand so those are the things i've been watching and they've been just cementing the decision that i have made i wouldn't i won't lie it's a bit scary but uh, i believe that you know it's gonna be fine and it's gonna be okay yeah so guys go subscribing is good <laughs> youtube can be an extra income and that would really be you know cool that would really be good so yeah despite being uh, in the office for a whole year i didn't put aside my business so i used to work at night i used to by work at night i mean i used to crochet and knit at night so if i would get an order i used to knit and crochet in the evening so ningefika ningefika nyumbani 5:30 hapo hivyo and then i would like make dinner cook for myself and then after that i would uh, i would start you know crocheting had it like midnight and also to say to the whole of 2023 i've been sleep deprived because i've been trying to juggle a lot which is you know it may be stretched to the limit which has helped me also realize how much i'm able to do you know because even in all these akuna place ni mpaka ni breaking point like nimekuwa swamped sometimes but akuna that ni like fika breaking point so i actually learned that i also have you know re- resilience and i can hand, my body can also handle a lot but kuna times nime intentionally decide just to sleep there are some sundays when i say matu intentionally i need to rest i need to sleep because i used to work on saturdays also that would mean my weekend would start saturday afternoon and uh, sunday and sunday i have church in the morning so saturdays mostly towards the end of the year i got crochet students like people who signed up for knitting classes and all so mostly i would set them up on saturdays afternoon like at 2 that would give me an hour to reach you know to reach their place that would give me an hour to reach like the venue so physical classes i usually teach at the client's home or place or whatever yeah so one hour would give me t- enough time then i'd start a lesson at 2 and end at 3 and give another one maybe one hour for another one would start at 4 to 5 yeah go go so now that i am free of that schedule 8 to 5 schedule and uh, saturdays i am now able to like panga my students any time that they are available also because most of my students are kids who go to school and they come back home at 3 that means they have like 3 to 4 to do like to rest and freshen up then 4 to 5 to do their homework and have their snacks and then now my class starts at 
fine. So um, I'm happy because most of my students come from the same area. So I usually combine their classes. Like I go and teach them once. So instead of like teaching this this one student today, another student tomorrow, another student now, and they live in the same area. So they usually just meet up, come, wait in uh, one home. And then when I come, we all go to a one balcony and we learn. So since wako wengi, definitely I add the time. It's not like the normal one hour, one hour if it's one on one student. It's not the normal one hour. Definitely we do more a longer period of time. And then kids also work on a concentration span planning. So after what are the past two hours, two hours at a minute. So you need to have like uh, short short snippets of you explain to them something and then you let them do it. You explain to them another thing, you let them do it, you let them practice and then you give them a break. Like a 10 minute snack break, nini nini, and then after that you continue, you continue. And then with your now, I may answer to lose concentration or I get distracted easily, you let it be, you end the class there so that wawaze ku, you know, also remember the things that you taught them because, yeah. And then I also got like uh, adult classes. Yeah, adult classes are easy because adults, when I lay when I like they catch things very fast. Mm. So, yeah, that is that. I've been enjoying the teaching. Oh my god, like the, the thing that in an Israhisha Zaidi me when the kids like get a concept and then the next time I meet them, I usually leave them homework or all my students. I leave them homework. Like after we have a class, I tell you, okay, today we have learned the PAL speech and uh, we are doing PALs only. That will make a gut, gut a pattern. So I want you to do uh, like, you know, cast on party and then do like 10 rows or 20 rows. Or then I come back the next time I find joke. When we find your evil, I am usually happy. That's the best feeling because you're like, yo, the student can start making a scarf and stuff. Like I have a student who has started making a scarf. I have two more who will start making scarves uh, in the next class, which is next week. And uh, yeah, in any fresh asana. So yeah, I'm looking to, you know, expand in that teaching area also. Maybe train some people on my what is it called my syllabus because different knitters and crocheters have different syllabus so teaching knitting and crochet so i'd like to you know expand and have more people who want to join my teaching uh Ogfra knits classes like as teachers we can have training sessions where we ensure we are on the same page so that all students that are taught through Ogfranit's classes have the same kind of flow of energy of you know patterns of all so that what you wanna wanna follow the same plan the same pattern and the same kind of classes yeah i'd definitely be open to that because i know very well in africa time soon i'll have too many students to handle by myself even if i spread them like equally busy in a day I also have other businesses that uh, need my attention especially the picnic business the floral business okay the picnic and the floral and the events are together so those th those also need my attention so uh if you can time in i'll have so many students it a me me outsource more teachers who can take over and also more people who can take over the picnic side yeah so that is the plan and uh, yeah i also had a solo tree yeah i went to kilifi and i just had a relaxed period oh my god i'm gonna shout out the bnb that i stayed at they're not paying me to do this but maybe you can consider partnerships if you want <laughs> yeah so i say that blacks luxury homes blacks luxury homes yeah i took a studio yeah in kilifi and uh, yeah they are fully furnished they have a comfortable bed oh my god 
Ushenda Airbnb na their bed is more comfortable than yours. <laughs> you feel like you want to stay and extend your stay and all. As I was saying, black luxury homes were sour kabisa. Like they have very comfortable spaces and all. Yeah. So when you book, just specify you want maybe a BNB that's on first floor and above if you want because I feel like that you know the higher you go the cooler it becomes and in Mombasa the way it is very cold not cold very warm so you want a place in a breeze in a pita easy 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 yeah so you can specify that maybe I can put the contact of the lady over here so that you can uh, you know contact her she's very nice she can even organize for you transportation from SGR to the place and back yeah so that is super cool too mm, I felt at home I felt comfortable she has all the things that you need like a fridge there's a microwave that I didn't use a microwave there's um, you know the combe mugs there's everything that you need so you just have to buy your food and uh, the things you need to cook yeah so me I went and bought like a, a small oil 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 for cooking so you know i don't take sugar so i didn't need sugar milk and uh, you know the basic stuff that you need in the house they provide for you soap to shower and toiletries so that is good mm -hmm. yeah there's a tv there's netflix there's show marks there's everything that you need to watch and there's a fun that was the best part of that place kulikuwa fun yeah kuleta kiku kupunguza hiyo joto so yeah i had fun i went to the beach for the first time ever i was like a baby <laughs> beautiful time i will insert some videos over there some clips yeah so that was a very needed break from life in general and also to just mark the transition from being from being employed working for someone to now uh, getting into working for yourself and I understand sometimes you don't plan these things and sometimes you need to put off that come on me personally I can't say that I had seen this coming and all you know for I had the plan in mind but it's not like I had planned for it in all aspects so it's not like that I'm in a perfect place when you go and go sour no I'm still working things out you know pushing for things to go through and stuff uh checking out better opportunities online you know setting up five accounts so that i'm able to even work even when i'm at home so yeah that's my ideal kind of you know next next um i would say career path if i'm able to get an uh, a remote kind of uh, kind of because I'm still open to work for someone but I just want a more flexible kind of space so that my business and my content creation and my the rest of my of what makes me me does not stop because of working for someone else so that is actually the you know way to go so thank you so much for watching I think I'll stop there because I don't want this video to be so long i'm definitely going to be doing a lot more often videos and i am really hoping for consistency uh, because yeah i'm gonna excuse <laughs> yeah and we're looking out for 
a podcast both for architecture, design, and also crochet, and also life. So in this channel, we talk about young life, design life, and uh, young life, design life, and my life. So basically, all those will be made into podcast formats so that people who can't watch can also listen and yeah also just push and widen my net so that we are able to grow Oprah and we're able to grow Mr. Sakira as a brand and yeah 2024 is a good year like I don't know I've been saying this from the time 2024 is and I really believe it that 2024 is going to be good for I know for me and for everyone else who believes that. So, bye. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Ask questions, ask any questions that you want to ask. And I'll show you.